Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Ice man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is what happened last week on Earth. We got to talk about it, man. It's a few things that happened, so we're going to review it. Go over it. Talk about it. Who that? That's the question everybody wanting to know when they seen this mural right here. This is in Mexico. This is supposed to be a Kobe Bryant mural. They painted this. Who that? Because I don't know who that is, man. That is not Kobe Bean Bryant. Look at that, man. Look at this, Steve. Look at the mustache. Kobe ain't never had no mustache like that or no protruding teeth. <coughs> so, I want to ask y'all, who is that? Is that Carl Malone? Mm-hmm. Kind of look like him, man. Kind of like Carl Malone to me with that mouth structure. I don't know, Mexico. Y'all got to do better than this, man. Y'all got to answer for this. Who is that, y'all? I see where they built the wall. Nah, I'm just playing. But goddamn, man, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That happened last week. This also happened last week, man. Makeup is a mother. Look at this right here, man. This show that she went viral because this is her picture and this is her mug shot. I tell you, makeup a motherfucker because they don't look the same, man. They look the same, but it don't look the same. I mean, it ain't that much of a difference, man. But that, that, taking that wig off and having those braids up under there, looking like spray, uh, spray painted Cheetos or something, mm -hmm. that is nasty work, man. Um, Y'all see her. Makeup a mama. Happened last week also. Hmm. We all gonna go. But don't speed up the process, man. This is a tragedy story right here, man. Tragic story. Something just crazy to happen, man. This girl right here, her name is Tanda God. She came out with this album called X Woodpack. Um, that's a picture of her and her boyfriend that she smoked. Literally. They had a relationship that didn't go too well. And, um, you know, to say some abuse was going on in, in their relationship. I can get my notes. I got my little notebook right here. <laughs> But um, how I go down is, um, yeah, she got out of jail and she came out. She made a, a album called X Woodpack. And she took his face. And look at that, y'all. That's the picture of them. She took and blurred his face out and made him into the, to the, to the smoke. She smoked him, man. Literally. Got out of jail. She was in protective custody, so I hear and um, when she was locked up, she was in um, protective custody, so couldn't nobody get at her. So what she did, she left protective custody. I'm slamming words. She left PC, and she tried to open up her little damn shop. A beauty supply, beauty store, beauty hair, something to something to something to something. I don't really know the details. I just know she got murked after that, at that little event she threw for her little shit. That's what I say, man. We all going to go, but don't speed up the process, man. Coming out with that album was a very, very bad thing for her to do. Especially with putting his likeness up there and see you smoking on the X, uh, X pack, your ex. Everybody know what you did to your ex. He got family out there, man. He got people out there that loved him. So doing that was nasty. And it came back to Hunter, man. R.I.P. to that shorty and the brother and everybody involved. A lot of lives are messed up. But that happened last week. Mix her or mix up. I don't know, man. This is going down in, what is that? Poland. They have a mixer for black men to meet white women. I don't know. This ain't a bad idea. If you're looking for white women, if you're a white woman looking for black men, they put this together, though. Uh, I think they're doing this in Japan also. Um, not this actually having a mixer, but in Japan they are... I think they import niggas in to um, make with they white. I mean, make with they wives over there, man. They think they're trying to repopulate and get the little DNA strand back together or something to something to something to something. I ain't no scientist, man. But I know a lot of people getting a lot of black people over there. I think we the new hot commodity. Nigga. That's what they doing over there, man. Poland. I mean, that would have been the happening spot. I know me and my homies would have came through there, you know. Whole cloud of smoke around us. Drinking and shit. It wouldn't have been right. It wouldn't have been right if they was doing some stuff like that. It'd have been too many thugs over there coming through just to kick it. Like, oh, shit, I got the white bitches. Finna go through here. That'd have been the spot. I ain't gonna front. <coughs> so, yeah, big shout out to all of them, man. 
I think they get to dance with him and stuff. Hold on. Is that a black man? Hold on. We got to look at him, yo. This might be an Indian. We got to see this. This dude right here with the, with the white shirt on. He don't look full. Mm. No, it's black people hair don't lay like that. That Indian dude in the white shirt. Oh, no, man. Black people hair don't lay like that. Only person black person hair that laid like that was um Marcus Houston for Immature back in the day. <laughs> you got to be old to know who that is. Marcus Houston. He was calling himself Batman. All right. What else happened last week? Ooh, this right here, man. This got to be animal cruelty. Somewhere. This got to be animal cruelty, right? That's what I named this topic when I came across this. This woman right here, female lady, whatever she is, um, young lady, girl, whatever. I don't know her pronouns, acronyms, or whatever. But she claiming to be pregnant, and she had a baby shower. And she walking around with a fish bowl in her damn dress. Added to it or something to something. Could be a cool idea if it had an air filter to it. That's why I say, man, this got to be animal cruelty. Because I don't know if that's enough space inside of that damn boat. Look at how much water in there. The levels of damn water, is it look murky in that water. She, look, it's hours later. Look, the fish ain't even moving no more. Is They ain't swimming. You can't swim in that little bit of water. That's nasty work, man. That's why I say this got to be animal cruelty. Cause that, come on, man. That ain't right, man. I don't like that at all. When I seen this, I was like, no, sir. Who doing this? Why you doing that, man? That ain't right. So y'all let me know. Y'all think that's right or wrong for her to have a damn fish bowl with them low levels of water in there without no air filter? How do you feed it? Like, uh, she made me sick for that. Yeah, take care of the animals, man. My beard look crazy. Look, at my little, my little gray beard. Got to make that stand in the forefront. Where everybody know I'm old. Want to be no young nigga. When everybody know I'm old, I push them shits to the front. One of them fell out one day. I was like, oh, she fell in slow motion. All right, who got next? I say got because um this right here, man. Deadpool coming out with a damn remote control for the Xbox, you know, to go with the Deadpool movie. And look at this, man. It got buns. It got buns. It got a got. It got. That's what I said. Who got next? It's a funny wordplay from me, I think. But, you know, we have fun up here on this channel, man. Every Friday at 9 p.m., we go live right over here, man. Talking about stuff just like this. This is where all this came from. I had a panel of people talking about this. Not a panel, but I had my co-host, Cream Zill and Charlene Defoe. We talked about these same topics Friday night as a group, as a collective. But Monday mornings, I like to get together and talk about it again, you know, just to have more content for the channel, man, to let everybody know what happened last week on Earth. It's a new week now, so we got to get some new shit. Olympic Boogaloo. I call it Boogaloo. Y'all remember um, Breaking? Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo? Pop, locking, turbo, all them people. Well, it's an Olympic sport now. You can break dance in the Olympics. Mm, mm, mm. The crazy thing about this, well, not the crazy thing. The thing I just, uh, I don't think that we have a black Olympic team. We don't have an American team. Do we have an American team? Is there any black break dancers anymore? Because the Asians have taken over. They finna win this, y'all. Y'all know that, right? I don't know if they're going to be Japan or they're going to be Korea. Or Chinese. But this is a damn, this is a, it's dancing and acrobats or aerobics. You know, um, what do you call that shit? Acrobat, men acrobat. Gymnasts. So, whoo, being a gymnast to some music, some style on the ground, dancing, the Jabberwockies. Shaq gonna come out with a mask on and, I don't know, man, but it's an Olympic sport now. Big shout out to that, man. Hip hop. They made it to the Olympics. Um, this is a bait who started hip hop right now. Did the Latinos do it or did the African Americans start it? Come on, man. You know, niggas started it. But, um, Olympic breakdancing, man. Big shout out to that. I think we need a, um, I was saying that, man, look, my beard look crazy. We was talking about, um, this Olympic, the Olympic boogaloo. We was like, yo, who gonna represent us? Because after age, you take this. We're going to have to assemble a team of breakdancers. And we was thinking like, yo, we're going to have to get Chris Brown, um, Omarion, Justin Timberlake. Ooh, it's about a thunderstorm. I hear the rain out there. It's getting spooky. 
I always do the spear fingers. But yeah, we got to put together a team, man. Chris Brown and Omarion, Justin Timberlake. Who else can dance, man? Um, Usher. We got to get our gold back, man. When they take it, they finna take it. You know how they had the redeem team? When the, um, the Olympic boys didn't make it over there, they sent that wet group over there, and them boys got, what, third bronze to the Argentinians? Argentine? Argentines? Argentine? Not a geographical teacher. Geography teacher, whatever. So, hmm. yeah, we got to get our damn shit back. And it's up to Chris Brown. Slow down, I think we're moving too fast. This dude right here proposed at his, um, at a wedding. When I heard the story, they were saying at first that it was his best friend or it was her husband that was in that casket. Come to find out, it was her father. <clears throat> I think they're moving too fast. Like, bro, come on, man, put the dirt on them first, man. Wait, you, like, it, you're overshadowing the person who it is. This is my day. Don't nobody propose on my damn wedding day or my funeral. Come on, man. I'm in the earth. I'm about to go down. I'm dead. I'm going to hunt the shit out of you, man. Don't do me like that, man. This is my day. Cry for me. Mourn. Don't start celebrating when somebody getting married. His daughter. What's his daughter? I don't know. I ain't about to say maybe she was ugly and somebody all happy. Oh, she finally get the man. But, bro, you got to relax, bro. That's how you going to make her feel good. By marrying her on her daddy's death day. Or funeral day. It's crazy, man. Mm, mm, mm. No patism. This crazy right here. I see my white beard coming out. Boy, I'm, I'm going gray. You can see it over here, boy. Look at that. I'm going gray. Look at that. I'm going gray. A couple months ago, man, this story right here. Boy went viral. For getting all his friends a job at Burger King. Everybody was happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, they was happy. They're keeping them off the streets. You know, they finna do something for the summer. They all got jobs. Everybody like, damn, he put his whole crew on. Um, nah. He since have been fired. Him and his mama and all the friends been fired. They were fired because they said it was nepotism, man. That's why. They said his mama abused her power. The mama got her son a job and all his little friends a job. Um, it's nepotism. I guess you only gotta be LeBron James to get nepotism to go around there. Be Bronny. I don't know, man, how I feel about this story. I mean, rules are the rules. You can't be hiring people just because of, like, taking jobs from other people. And, um, you know, you could have maybe got the friends a job. Maybe you could have got your son. And it, they say that it got funky like it got funky because everybody found out about it. You know, it went viral on the news and all this stuff. They Nick um, Cannon tweeted it out. And Burger King was like, God damn it. Shh, chill out. Oh, man. Somebody know the policy, man. Hey, look, we got to fire all y'all. They fired every last one of them. I don't like how they try to take the um, situation hostage, though. The little boy and his mama. The little boy and his mama said, hey, man, they could be out here doing this. They could be out here doing that. They could be out in the streets. And they got a job. Y'all taking it from them. I don't think y'all should threaten them people about what they can be doing in the streets. Because you raising your child right, they wouldn't be doing that in the streets. And don't try to threaten that they could be in the streets. That's the only thing I ain't like about it. They're trying to threaten the fact that, oh, they could be in the streets, man. They got a job. No, you should keep them there. They could be in the streets. They can be in the streets. No, not everybody can be in the streets if they ain't got a damn job. Shit. That's crazy to me. I ain't like that part. That's the only part I didn't like about it. They could be in the streets. No, they weren't in the streets before they got there. They weren't doing too. Hey, man, I don't know these people, man, but, yo. No patism. Mm -hmm. That happened last week, though. Get prepared, y'all. I don't know what y'all gonna get prepared for, but hey, it's a lot of things going on in the world right now, especially when Costco's start selling ready wise food, a bucket of food, man. I don't know. Too many movies coming out. Civil War. I think they had a damn Captain America called Civil War, but they turned it to Brave New World where he tried to assassinate the president. Um, the boys, y'all seen that? Y'all seen the boys? The last episode of the boys for season what four? Hey, man, there's a lot of things going on, man. I'm just saying, be prepared. Get prepared, yo. I don't want to dive into things, but things have been, have been happening. You know, people get bowing. 
doing the matrix by the ear and shit. They're walking around with paper towels on the ear. I don't know, man. They said that's the new Nelly Band Aid, though. The paper towel on the ear, the new belly, the new. I said new belly. The new Nelly Band Aid. <clears throat> ginger to ginger. This is a crazy story right here to me, man. I seen this picture, man. My homeboy, my player partner, ghetto god himself. He showed me this on Twitter. Like, yo, nice man, look at this. I'm like, oh shit, that's what's up, man. Cause you know I don't like um, race swaps in movies. You know, I don't like when you race swap a, a character. I'll be like, Ugh, man, you know I hate that, man. I don't like no race swap. Ugh, I'm definitely showing this on the show. Ugh, I hate a race swap. Look at this, man. Look at this. All these characters been race swapped. I'm like, ugh, 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 ugh. Look at this. He popped my collar though. He said, no, nah, I ain't talking about that. He said, the thing is, all of them are redheads to black. I'm like, oh, I never thought about that part. Like I said, he popped my collar, man. Because all these are redhead people. And they changed them to black people. Ain't that a coincidence? Ain't that weird? Ain't that wow? Ain't that crazy? That's what I thought. Like, wow. I didn't see the um forest through the trees or whatever. However you want to make an analogy to sound good. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I ain't see the damn, I ain't see the damn, the big picture, the big picture, you know? I was like, yeah, man, black and white. He's like, nah, it ain't just about black and white. It's about red and black. I'm like, oh, he said, you playing chess. You got to play checkers. I'm like, oh, you know? So there's something to think about, man. They turning redhead people to niggas, I guess. That's what it looked like to me. And last but not least, bye-bye Biden. Crazy situation right here, man. Biden has dropped out of the presidential 2024 Canada, um, presidential race. Whatever. Bye, bye. You know, bye. Bye, nigga. Get up out of here. Roll out. Haul ass. Um, he quit. He quit. He quit. Um, I mean, he's still the president now, but he ain't gonna run next year. I mean, you know, he looking all... We're gonna look crazy up there now. But you a quitter, bro. You quit. You basically quit doing this term because this term ain't over with. You got until with November, I think January when they storm I mean when they move it over or whatever. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. You're a quitter, bro. You should have quit before you gave all the beings up to um Ukraine and send it over there to Afghanistan whatever stand or something. Pakistan, you're packing the stand, stand, pack something. I don't know. One of them um, other people. You didn't give it to the American people, so you gave it to somebody else. And I think that's nasty work, man. You got up out of here. You, I, boy, this shit crazy, man. You were like, oh, oh, y'all trying to take my mans in them out? He did, uh, what's my man name on WWE? He did the Yeet. <laughs> he did a Jay Uso. He said, oh, y'all shooting presidents? He, he bounced. Um, that's what he did, man. Huh. I don't know what they're gonna do, man. I, and they think she from the run or something like that. Um, she ain't black. She full Indian. She supposed to be Jamaican black. She supposed to be. I don't know what her identity is. Her ethnic race group, whatever she is. I don't know nothing about her. I don't see how they giving her the damn spot to be the whoever. Like it's crazy. And I don't know nothing about it. I just see the things that's happening on TV and on the internet, and I be like, damn, he out? Oh, she in? Oh, he almost got shot? Oh, he didn't? Oh, it's fake? Oh, it's not? You never know what you're watching on TV, man. But one thing you can't watch on this TV right here is me. Every Friday night at 9 p.m. when I go live talking about stuff just like this, y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, holler at me, man. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy, Ice Man the Foe. And this is all, everything that happened last week on Earth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right, this time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.